Good morning, everyone. I hope each one of you is enjoying good health. We will now go on to the second part of the video, Nine Gold Medals by David Roth. Before we go on to the poem, let us quickly have a recap of what we had done in the first video. In it, I had told you that there were nine athletes who had come from different countries and each of them had put in a lot of preparation and practice to compete in the Special Olympics. They all stood for the 100 meter race, which was about to begin. They took their position and were waiting for the signal to be given. The signal, which was a gunshot. And as the gunshot was given, each of them began to run. As they ran, the youngest athlete, unfortunately, he stumbled and staggered and he fell to the ground. As he fell, he gave out a cry of frustration and anguish as all his dreams, his efforts to win that medal which he had prepared for was destroyed. And as this happened, a strange incident took place just then. Moving on to the poem, stanza six. The eight other athletes stopped in their tracks. The ones who had trained for so long to compete. One by one, they turned round and came back to help him and lifted the lad to his feet. The poet, he goes on to narrate that after the youngest athlete, he fell down and gave a cry the other eight athletes who were running, they stopped. These athletes who had trained for so long to compete in the race and to win a medal, they stopped in their tracks and each one, one by one, turned around and went back to help the youngest athlete who had fallen. On reaching him, they lifted him from the ground and made him stand on his feet. We see this unexpected response from the eight participants and this unexpected reaction gives a shock and a surprise to everyone who was there in the stadium. Stanza 7 then all nine runners joined hands and continued. The 100 meters reduced to a walk and the banner above that said Special Olympics could not have been nearer the mark. In this stanza, the poet tells us that the spectators are presented with new turns and twists as the actions of the athletes unfolded in front of their eyes. The eight athletes, after picking up the fallen athlete, they all joined hands and they walked together the 100 meter track. They did not run. Each one held each other's hand and they walked the track. The race was reduced to a walk to the finishing line. The poet says that the banner above them at the finishing line read Special Olympics. It was special because the action of the athletes was special during this particular race. Eight of them going back Picking up the ninth competitor, the ninth athlete, and then holding hands and walking. It was something 
that no one had ever seen before. This action that took place of the nine athletes was itself exemplary. It could not have been nearer the mark, means the banner above which said, which read Special Olympics was no doubt accurate and justified as the spirit of empathy was visible in every special way. That's how the race ended. Nine gold medals, they came to the finish line holding hands still and the banner above and nine smiling faces said more than these words ever will said more than these words ever will in the last stanza the poet tells us that actions speak louder than words the nine athletes holding each other's hands they reached the finishing line together and that is how the race ended each of them were awarded a gold medal that is how it is nine gold medals the banner above of special olympics and the smile on the faces of the nine athletes expressed far better than what words could ever say all the nine athletes they displayed empathy caring for each other turning the special olympics into a truly special one the spirit that guided these athletes to the extraordinary response tells us that certain actions of a person or a group of persons becomes exemplary and others are inspired to imitate or follow such actions. I hope you have understood the poem. Coming now to the title, Nine Gold Medals. The title itself is very clear. It's very apt as only one gold medal is generally given to the first winner in a sports event. But here, all the nine participants were awarded a gold medal for showing empathy and true sportsmanship. The authorities were so impressed by their empathy that each one of them was given a gold medal, therefore nine gold medals. The nine gold medals becomes symbolic of the victory of human values. The theme of the poem, the major theme of this poem is empathy. Empathy is the capacity to understand another person's experience from his point of view. Simply speaking, it is putting yourself in another's shoes. Like in this particular case, the eight athletes who had moved on, they thought about how they would have felt had they been in the place of that athlete who had fallen. They knew exactly then, then what they had to do. They knew that they had to offer that fallen athlete emotional support. So, empathy improves relationships in our families, in our friends. If we show we care, it will definitely be very positive and encouraging. It encourages the positive behavior towards people who are in need. It encourages positive behavior towards people who need your help, your friends, your classmates. If you show empathy, 
it will definitely mean a stronger relationship between the two. The next theme is true sportsmanship. It is not merely winning but taking part that is important is what is said. Definitely sports events are highly competitive and each sports person trains ruthlessly to win at any cost. A true sportsman is helpful, he is cooperative just like the eight athletes who went back and they helped their companion. They forgot their dream of winning the race and instead going back they lifted up and encouraged the youngest athlete. So true sportsmanship is one that we all need to imbibe. True sportsmanship is not only shown in the field. Empathy and sportsmanship can be shown by each of us in these difficult times of lockdown. We can help some poor people by donating money, food, soap, etc. We can share their pain and the sorrow. You can help your own classmates who have probably no access to all these online classes. Maybe you could help them with study material. Remember, don't laugh at friends during difficult times. Stand by them. That is what empathy and true sportsmanship really tell us. We now have an assignment. Please read the questions according to the extract which have been given and the poem that we have read. These questions are to be done in your literature, notebooks or sheets to be attached in a file. Please take care and do your work carefully. Thank you.